Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about present form of to be. As you know, Turkish grammar consists from the suffixes and we have different form of suffixes in this rule. I'm going to show you how these suffixes are changing based on subject pronoun. We know M is R changing based on subject pronoun. Same thing happen in Turkish, but it is very varies. Let's see how these things are happen. In first person singular, we have four form of suffixes which we add the end of the verb. These are um, im, um, um. Let me give you some example. Ben Türküm. I am Turk. If you wonder how these vowels are changing, please watch my previous video about vowel harmony. Ben öğretmenim. I am teacher. Ben uzun um. I am tall. Ben 22 yaşındayım. I am 22 years old. Last vowel a and, and comes after um. May you can ask me why I put here y sound because this is a rule we don't put two vowels together a and ö and the other vowels don't comes together that's why we put here y sound. Keep it in your mind. I'm going to give you more example about this. In second person singular, the suffix is sen, sin, sun, sün. Sen kızgınsın. You are angry. Sen güzelsin. You are beautiful. Sen doktorsun. You are a doctor. Sen üzgünsün. You are upset. In third person singular, the suffixes are dır, dir, dur, dür. O akıllıdır. He is clever. Actually, we don't have a gender in Turkish like he or she. We just say o for woman, for man. Just we say o. O tembeldir. He is lazy. O üzgündür. He is upset. O uzundur. She is tall. First person plural. The suffixes are öz, iz, uz, üz. Biz aileyiz. We are family. Remember why we put here Y sound? Because we don't put two vowels together. E and E. U and U. Ü and U. Biz masumuz. We are innocent. Biz üzgünüz. We are upset. Biz akıllıyız. We are clever. Second person plural, the suffix is sınız, siniz, sunuz, sünüz. Siz uzmansınız. You are expert. Siz mutlusunuz. You are happy. Siz üzgünsünüz. You are upset. Siz sevimlisiniz. You are pretty. Third person plural, the suffix is ler, lar, dır, dir. Onlar güzellerdir. They are beautiful. I don't know how I'm going to translate it, just focus on the grammar. You don't see something, you just guess it. Onlar güzellerdir. They are beautiful. If you see something like flowers, the beautiful things, just you're going to say, hmm, they are beautiful. Onlar güzeller. Onlar mutlulardır. In the same time, and maybe you separated from your boyfriend, you think, onlar mutlulardır. You just predicted, you don't know about anything. If you see some, some people are beautiful, you can say, hmm, onlar mutlular in this time. Onlar akıllılardır. They are clever. Onlar üzgünlerdir. They are upset. That's it for today. If you like my video and hit the like button, 
Don't forget to connect with me, all of my social media, Facebook and Instagram. See you very soon.